Friends, every week we make a Christian witness in our world. We preach, we teach, we share who we are in the, in the world. Today I've asked some pastors to make a witness about what they believe is the Christian witness for their world, for their mission field. Take a look. As a United Methodist Christian, we must lead people out of the darkness that divides us and into the light and love of Christ, which unites us. We must show kindness intentionally to everyone. You can only make a difference if you're different. And that's why we as Christians are uniquely positioned to make a difference around the world because we are a part of a new creation. We, by our very definition, are different. Because we are different, we can make a difference. As United Methodist Christians, we must bear witness to Jesus who is described by the Gospel of John as being full of grace and truth. As United Methodist Christians, we must preach and share the Gospel to Hopi people, Native American in Arizona. The Christian church is not a place to get comfortable. It is a place to be transformed. We all have choices. We can let a crisis define us. We can let it destroy us or we can let it strengthen us. We must seek to follow Jesus in breaking down all the walls that divide us. As United Methodist Christians, we must share the gospel of Jesus Christ with new people. As United Methodists, we should always be involved in the schools in our neighborhoods. The schools contain precious darlings, and they all need to be loved on, hugged, encouraged, and taught. And in Warren United Methodist Church, we love loving on the children of South Dallas. As United Methodist Christians, we must empower and equip so that persons can excel to their God-given potential and make an impact in the community. Tragedy does not define us. Love does. As United Methodist Christians, we must share the good news through our Wesleyan theology, which says you are saved by grace. It is none of your doing. You are beloved. God has big dreams for our church and God expects more of us. As United Methodist Christians, we must bring back the Great Commission to our own worship services, our own small groups, and our own personal lives. Listening to Cynthia Wilson Felder sing, Who Will Be a Witness for My Lord at Annual Conference, made me think deeply, oh, I want to be a witness for my Lord. I'm Clayton Oliphant, and I'll be a witness. My name is David Rangel, and I will be a witness. My name is Juan Bebak. I will be a witness. My name is Eric Folkerth, and I'll be a witness. My name is Edgar Bassan, and I will be a witness. My name is Derek Jacobs. I'll be a witness. I'm Dr. Andy Stoker, and I'll be a witness. My name is Judith Reedy, and I'll be a witness. My name is Carrie Smith, and I will be a witness. My name is Matt Tuggle, and I'll be a witness. My name is Blair Thompson White, and I'll be a witness. My name is Ed Lance, I'll be a witness. I'm Reagan Gillen, and I'll be a witness. My name is Richie Butler, and I'll be a witness. My name is Cammie Gaston, and I will be a witness for our Lord.